Do you think we... Too ex... These are the things we're fighting for.
Do you think we... Too exp... built by us some time ago. They used it to trade and to bring a world heart to Tavar. We better be on our guard here.
There must have been a lot of civilians living here once.
Get ready. This place doesn't feel too friendly. Enough now. You think you've seen everything, and then you see whatever the hell that is. The old world is still full of surprises.
wonder what this place was. Ah, finally. I've been waiting for you. Just put the correspondence down over there. Wait, stop. You are the messenger I sent for? Just a moment. Where is your identification badge? And why are you traveling incognito? I'm not your messenger. No? Damn it! Then they still haven't found a replacement. They must still be short-handed. How are we supposed to fulfill Kalan's will without the men to do it? But I am going against protocol right now. We haven't introduced ourselves yet. I am Dirk, commanding legate of this outpost. And who do I have the honor of addressing? It's better if you don't know. I understand. You think I will go and peddle your secrets. But not every cleric is as stubborn to the core as the majority of those in Hort. There are other rules out here.
Well, it might be old. There's still fight left in the place.
quit sneaking around. Halt, stranger. Not another step. You're walking on the holy ground of Kalan. The only people allowed in here are clerics, recruits, or traders with permits. And they wonder why they are short of people. We welcome all in Goliath. That's because there's nothing worse still than Goliath. Wow, you really are a welcoming face, aren't you? Where am I? You are in Ignodon, at the Hort, the stronghold of the clerics, the repository of Magalan's knowledge, and the last bastion of the free people against the threat of the Alps. So how can I get in? Sorry, I thought I made that clear. You can only enter the Hort if you are a cleric, a recruit, or you have a trading permit. Where can I get a trading permit? There is currently a four-month waiting period, so unless you find a merchant who is wanting to give up theirs, then you can't. Can you recruit me? No. I am not authorized to recruit new acolytes. I want to become a cleric. Find a suggester who considers you worthy. There are suggestors recruiting across all the lands of Magalan. Perhaps you've not met one because they don't consider you worthy. But if you want to look, try Raynor. He is recruiting men throughout Abessa. Here. Is this enough to persuade you to let me in? I'm going to pretend you didn't try to offer me a bribe. That sort of thing might work in Tavar, but here in Ignadon, it's an insult to my honor. Although, it has given me an idea. Accepting charge is forbidden, but if you could take care of some business for me, that would honor Kalan. And perhaps persuade me that you entering the Hort was for official business. What is this business you need taken care of? Well, I'm glad you're interested, but I can't really talk about this now. There's an inspection due any time. We'll talk about this later. You have a deal. Tell me what you need doing. Good. Right. I can't talk about this now. There's an inspection due. But we'll talk later, all right? Unless you've got any questions about the Horde I could answer for you, then you can go in. Well, you can go in after you've had my briefing. You won't find Kalan's commandments too strict. You should know that anyone bringing initiates into the Hort will be responsible for them. All initiates must be clear of mind. Chems are forbidden. Anyone found taking them will need to report to the suggestors for re-education. All who are clear of mind must hear Kalan's words. All must adhere to his wisdom, and tell others of it, for we need to recruit. We've taken losses in our battle with the Albs, and now the Berserkers and the Outlaws are trying to take advantage of that. Which is crazy! If we fall, then who is going to stop the Albs sweeping all the free people from Magalan? Those who wish to join us must come to the Hort to train. The successful ones become acolytes. That's it. Briefing over. You are free to move about Hort. The Cleric Stronghold. No wonder so many of them want to spend time outside of Ignodon.
easy. There's nothing for you here. Get out of here, and get out of here now! That's enough. Reinhold has ordered that you must report to him immediately. You should go there now.
I'll get this one.
let's go. That's enough now.
That's enough now. That's enough now. enough now. could be dangerous.
these ruins must have witnessed. The Berserkers talk of me, but their magic relies on Elix. And we know that Elix twists the body and tears the soul. Knowledge and technology are just the offer of salvation. We can build our future with our own hands. This is me, Herbert, speaking the truth, bringing a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. help you. Commander, you four awaiting command. Commander, you four awaiting command. Report status. Are your repairs complete? Negative. Access to repair station systems denied. State alternative repair options. Are you able to identify your defective components? Analyzing. If you can't access the systems, they must think you were destroyed too. It seems we're both outcasts. If you can identify the components you need, I can help you. List the components needed for your repair. Analyzing. Command systems impaired. DI-6 chipset required. Where can I find a DI-6 chip? Analyzing. Highest probability is the closest converter. The converter? Right. What data do you have on the crash? Analyzing. The radar was on a direct approach to the primary mission goal. The radar was hit by accurate ground fire. The shot hit an open port on the radar. Evasion was not possible. Where did the fire come from exactly? Analyzing. Cannot positively identify. There were no indications of magic. Possible responsible parties, the outlaws, clerics, or Alps. Too? What exactly do you mean? Analyzing. Possible indications that an Elex-powered weapon was used. Alps use Elex-operated weapons. Status of open port on the radar was unusual. Port could only have been opened and secured in place during maintenance in Alp repair station. I was told it was faulty. Why would our own people sabotage the mission? Analyzing. Motive unknown. Identity of shooter. Unknown. <laughs> There are some answers out there somewhere. That was well done. Let's go.
enough now. Well done. That's enough now. I think we make it to it.
Are you serious? People say we're crazy to believe in nature. I don't have the shots. They put their trust in a thing like that. The things our world has achieved that are now lost to us. Halt! Not a step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. You want to rush him, or find another way in? Try either thing, and our mechs will blow you apart. But you know, it's your intestines you're risking, so try what you will. Where can I get an entry ID? You can't. We're full. We're short of supplies. So the decision has come down to close the gates. The full allocation of entry IDs has been given out, and we have instructions not to let anyone else in. Those outlaws have us stretched enough as it is. I'm not saying you're working with them, but until law and order is reestablished, we can't risk any more undesirables joining up with them. You'll have to wait till all this is over and done with. Say, there's a bunch of others who can't get in who've taken up residence in some houses near here. Why don't you join up with them? Have there been any ALB attacks here recently? With Zaykor on our northern border, there are always ALB troops coming through on their way somewhere. But they don't seem to be attacking us here for the moment. But have you heard anything about Alexiders traveling through Abessa? Yeah, yeah, I have now that you mention it. Alexander Kallax was reported to have headed north with a few combat units and a troop of mechs. Elexiter Kallax. So he's been promoted. Tell me, how long ago did Alexiter Kallax head north? A few days ago. They must be back at the Ice Palace in Zaykor by now. What's with the interest in Alexiters? You go chasing them, you'll just find trouble. And I don't want them tracing that trouble back here. I'm asking so I can avoid them. Don't treat me like a rookie. You sound like someone who wants a showdown. So let me give you a warning. That approach is going to get you and anyone close to you killed. Halt! Not a step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. Halt! Nobody is allowed into the city without an ID. How do I get an ID? You'll have to go to Gregor at the other gate. He's the only one authorized to issue new IDs. We aren't letting a lot of people in at the moment. We're having... Well, talk to Gregor. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to say. What's happening in the city? Well, the Dome City is a refuge for all. Outlaws, berserker, clerics, anyone who wants to be somewhere other than their homeland. Being away from home, you'd think they'd care less about what faction they were from. But for some reason, some of them have got even more fanatical. That makes keeping order difficult sometimes. The outlaws are the worst. They don't understand rules or sharing, or in some cases, that people have a right to stay alive. You don't seem to like outlaws. All people are welcome here. The Dome City is a refuge for all. But that means all, not just outlaws. There's a half dozen outlaws hanging around outside the city at the old farm now. They just want to get in to cause trouble. I mean, we got everyone settled down and living together, and those outlaws? I just wish they'd disappear. You want the outlaws in the farm to die? Whoa, whoa, that's not what I said. I just want them to stop causing trouble for good. About the outlaws in the farm. You mean the threat on our doorstep? The canker in our midst? They who should disappear?
If the price is right, I will take care of the outlaws. Are you sure you can handle this? Well, if you're willing to try, then I would be grateful if they'd vanish. I will have your reward ready when you come back. Oh, it'll be such a relief to know they're gone. But you need to prove you did it by... by bringing me their heads. You want their heads? By Kalan, what? No, uh, no! What am I supposed to do with their heads? No, no, I, I, I didn't... Just make sure that the outlaws disappear. And don't trade with them, or you can forget your reward. And no heads. Don't bring me any heads. Where are these outlaws? They've gathered east of here at an old farm, not far from the city walls. You can't miss them. I heard he was robbed. I don't know the guy. Suppose I never will know. Those creatures need dealing with. I Welcome to the camp of the impure, where the poor souls barred from the city stand and wait for the Alps to kill them. I want to get into the city. Can you get me in? Have you tried to get in yet? Yes. I went to the gate. And you got turned away, right? I wouldn't be here otherwise. Okay. I can offer you a way to get into the city, but it's risky because you might not get out again. At least not if they confiscate your ID. Why won't I be able to get out? All right, all right. I just hope things don't go the same way they did with Cooper. The clerics have shut the city up tight. They won't let anyone who doesn't have a valid ID through the gate. Not in, not out. Why would the clerics stop people leaving the city? They're stopping them meeting up with us. That's what I heard. Paranoid assholes. Anyway, we're off the point. You want in, right? And I can give you a counterfeit ID that will get you in. But, once you're inside there, I need you to go and take an ID card to Cooper. That way he can come back out again. Like I say, I can get you in. But I also need you to help me out. You good with that? Does that sound like a deal? Deal. Give me the ID, and I'll meet Cooper. Good. Right. That's the plan. Long term. You see, Wick has all the blank IDs. So before I can get you an ID, 
I need you to get me Wick. Where is Wick? Well, that there is a good question. You see, he's been gone for a while. He'd gone over to the ruins to see if there was anything worth scavenging there, and hasn't come back. You should look for him over to the northwest if you're in a hurry to get into the city. Just look through all the houses. He should still be there, scavenging. Someone needs to go out there and kill every last raptor. You think you know what's going on? No one knows what's going on. Those creatures need dealing with. Don't mess me around, or I'll mess with you. They're always hitting on you here.
That's enough now. That's enough now. Casting from the orbit to bring a warning to all free people out there. Stay safe in the wilderness. There must have been no, a lot of right? civilians living here once. Fuck all of them. I hope they drown in their own shit. Someone hears that. The fight is the only thing that matters. That makes a real man. Wick is dead. But I found the ID cards on his body. Dead? Shit. I told him whatever was there wasn't worth the risk. But Wick would do anything if it would mean him getting two shards he could tap together. Ah, well, give me the blank ID card. I'll work it up for you now. So, done. One fake ID ready to go. Give me the counterfeit ID. Okay, wait a second. Your image has to be added there first. So, done. Here's your ID. And this is the ID for Cooper. Take it to him. But make sure the clerics don't see it, see him, or see you handing this over. And do it as soon as you get in there. He's been at risk too long as it is. We don't need him being held, or worse, turned into a vegetable by the suggestors. What do you want here? We don't want anything here. We want to be in there. 
in the city, as the law says we can, as the law says we should be. Those clerics are supposed to uphold the law, yet here we are, the gates closed to us. So, outlaws from Tavar standing by the council's law. Well, that's something I never saw coming. That's you berserkers. You always have been small-minded. There's no profit in the law. He's planning something. But out in the wilderness, right? Yes. Well, I'm looking for a guy, and I wonder if you've seen him. He's called Ray. He's an outlaw with a big mouth on him. Bit of a waster. You haven't met him anywhere out there, have you? I've met a lot of people. Maybe I've met him. Maybe I haven't. Yeah? Well, if you do find Ray, can you let me know? What's it worth? If it's a real lead and not troll crap, then I'll pay you a decent reward for the information. But don't think you can go lying to me and making up where he is. I know a lie if I hear it. Nobody is allowed into the city without an ID. Not a step further. No one is allowed into the city without an entry permit. I have an entry ID. Let me through. Really? I thought I knew all the ones that had been issued. And you were here asking about getting ID before. So tell me where you got this one. found it. You found an ID? Just lying around? And was it lying on someone you just killed? Or is someone gonna turn up here looking for a stolen one? Well, I'll tell you what. How about I just say you brought this in to return it to its rightful owner? And in return, I'll let you buy a valid ID from me. Okay, I'll buy an entry ID from you. Good. That'll sort everything out in one go. Here you go. Oh, and uh, there are some rules I need to tell you before you enter. First, stay away from the generators. Nobody but the technicians is allowed access to them. That sort of security is why we need to keep a rein on fake IDs. So take that fake straight to Eric, okay? Anyone you meet in the city who hasn't got proper documents, report them to him. We can only keep peace in the city if we all work together and we keep the city secure. 
That's what was laid down by the Great Council of Magalan. And the Great Council gave the clerics the responsibility for guaranteeing the city's independence. That means everyone is welcome here until they cause trouble. So keep the peace while you're in there. Our suggestors are busy enough without you adding to their workload. And that's it. You may pass. What do you want? Do you back the clerics here, or do you want them gone? You get right to the point, don't you? And are you gonna give me an answer? against the clerics. Right, good. I can see you talk sense. They say they're here to keep things safe, to keep order. But it's obvious they want to drop their neutrality and extend Ignadon's control into Abessa. Not allowing anyone in or out of the city, that's just the start of it. You think that's because the Alps are getting closer? Or that those followers of Kalan really want a back door for invasion? The Albs are more of a threat than the clerics. Executions, converters, torture. Believe me, I know all about that shit. But those guys are only interested in Elix, and as far as I know, there isn't any more here in the city than there is elsewhere. So why should they show any interest in attacking a fortified position to get it, instead of sweeping up all there is out there? The Albs want all the Elix. All of it, no matter where it is. We won't get in their way. We don't want Elix. They have to see that. They'd be attacking us for nothing. No, no, it's the clerics. Hunter sent me. Why didn't he come himself? He was afraid he wouldn't be let out of the city again if he was caught. You mean he was afraid the same thing would happen to him that happened to me? Fuck it. At least the suggestors haven't found me yet. Did Hunter give you something for me? Yes, I have something for you. Thanks. I was starting to think that I would never leave this stinking cleric-infested dome. I don't know if Hunter promised you a reward, but here's something for me in any case. You've helped a good cause. Trust me. Why don't you do something to stop the clerics? I trust you. You gave me my ticket here, after all. But I can't tell you our plan. But you must have realized by now, the dome must go. The clerics can't be allowed to take a Bessa.
I have brought you a report from another city. Yes? Which city did you go to? I went to the fort. Good. Then tell me your report on the outlaws. The fort is well prepared for defense. They're not lacking weapons, and they seem determined to keep what they have. And their state of mind? I'd hoped the outlaw problem would solve itself by them tearing themselves apart. They have similar numbers of people to you. It's true that they don't all agree, but their leader, the Duke, seems to have the outlaws under control. Then I will need to think again about Tavar. I was hoping that they'd implode, leaving us with one less threat. But it seems we may not be so fortunate. Tavar is always safer when it's fighting itself. It leaves them less energy for fighting us. Thank you for your report. I went to the Dome City in Abessa. Any information about the other factions is useful. Tell me what you learned. The people in the Dome City seem to want to remain neutral. But they are waiting to be attacked by the Alps. They know the war is coming. I think they're short of supplies and feeling lost, leaderless. Awaiting the axe to fall. The war has displaced a lot of refugees into Abessa, and there's a lot of argument over what to do with them and what they mean. That takes up most of their time. Thank you for your report. I visited the Horde in Ignadon. The Horde? Stronghold of our old enemy. So, tell me about their strength. They're prepared. Well-disciplined, and they're developing new weaponry. But they are short on manpower. I had heard they were recruiting. How are their forces distributed? Their attention is focused largely on the Alps, but they haven't forgotten the other factions. I think their main concern is being attacked if they decide to take on the Alps. At least they seem to have recognized who their real enemy is. Thank you for your report. I am ready to join the Berserkers. You have recognized the value of our people. Once you have made your pledge, you will be expected to stand by it. Clerics, Albs, Outlaws, all will see you as one of us from this point.
I would like to think about it. Very well. Return to me when you're ready. I'm ready to join the Berserkers. You have recognized the value of our people. Once you have made your pledge, you will be expected to stand by it. Clerics, Albs, Outlaws, all will see you as one of us from this point. I'm ready to make my pledge. Then so it shall be. With honor, with faith, with hope. You tie your blood to the soils of Magalan, our mother planet, and pledge to rebuild her as she was. It has been many years since the first Berserkers settled in this place. We found protection and a future for our kind in the ruins of the old world. From here, we have regrown a world that came before even that. From desert, from dead rock, we have brought back life. With our magic, we have held back those who see our future as one dominated by machines. We have stood against the forces of Zekor. We have struck down the converter they built on our land. But none of us can achieve this alone. None can stand alone. We must stand together. The time has come to accept another member into our community. He came to us as a stranger. Now he stands in our midst, having earned the right to become one of us. The law of the Berserkers will guide him from this day. We are the Fellowship of Magic and of Warriors. And we welcome you to our number.
Excellent. You shouldn't rely on machines. I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, and we can trade. What are you doing with that technology? Take it to the pit. I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, we can trade.
What are you doing with that technology? Take it to the pit. I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, we... I'd like to trade. Pick your armor, choose your weapon, we can trade. Take that tech to the pit. It should be disposed of.
Are you Stormson, the Berserker? And? Who are you? Oh, I can see from that look. Angrim sent you, didn't he? How did you get here from Adan? Look around you. That should give you a clue. As we left Goliath, we ran into a group of clerics. The guards, the ones Angrim sent to kill me, decided to pick a fight. They lost. The clerics saw I was a prisoner and gave me a choice. Fight, leave and be free, or come and join them. A choice. An actual, real choice. Not like Angrim. And so I'm here. And so, now you found me. And so, what happens now? Angram wants you dead, but I'll let you live. You travel half the world and you'll let me live? How can I trust you? You'd prefer it if I just killed you? Now you do sound like you've come from Angram. No, I'll live. Now I finally got a chance to. But if you do go back to Golia, tell Akira I'm doing all right. And if she can ever tear herself from her plants, she knows where to find me. I'll make sure she gets your message. Thanks. You know, I thought Angrim would send someone after me. But there's no way I thought that person would leave me alive. It seems not everyone in Goliath is an asshole. If you find Akira, tell her she should give you my old things. I'm not going back there, so you might as well have them. Take them as thanks. Berserker. Very good. The world. Damn technology. Stormson has joined the clerics. Then all doubt is gone. He was a traitor. It is as well he was stopped. I hope you warned him what will happen when justice finds him. I'm not here to serve you. It is easy to have sympathy for traitors if you haven't watched their friends die as a result of their treachery. This man was made welcome here. He was given tasks suited to who he was. Yet he chose to break the law. 
Let his fate stand as a lesson before you choose to defy the word of a warlord. Heed the laws. That's all we ask. I can't let you get away with that. Well, I survived. You won't get help from me, thief. You won't get help from me, thief. Curiosity, it's about time. What goods have you got? Understood. What are you doing with that damn technology?
I see you've become one of us. Welcome to our community. We need all the good people we can find. We lost so many in the attack on the converter. The Albs want to feed our world into those machines, piece by piece, person by person, and only we can heal it. There is so much to do if we are to save this world. Who are you? I am Cormag, warlord of the Hammer Clan. Each of the clans has its own calling, and ours is magic. A gift given to us in our time of need. Proof that this planet needed a guardian, and that it chose us. We can channel power through our bodies, and battle the machines of the clerics. The power mana gives us seems limitless. And yet, it seems so normal now, doesn't it? It's hard to remember that magic is only a generation old. We have only just started our study of it. And the Hammer Clan has made that study our purpose. What do you think about your laws? Our laws bind us. They tell us who we are, how we interpret them. That is where we can do better. Death and exile shouldn't be the only sentences. There should be reward in repentance. Leniency could save us valuable people. You think other berserkers are too harsh? Dedicated, not harsh. And sometimes dedication can blind us to other ways of thinking. Just imagine, if we berserkers could enhance the cleric's energy weapons, or the outlaw's explosives with the power of mana, who could stop us then? Now, Angram would say that giving in to technology would destroy us. But I wonder whether holding on to the laws too tightly would do the same. After all, there were those who tried to stop using magic. They said it was against nature. Now magic is all that defends it. Whatever my thoughts, the laws we have now are the ones we must follow. Are there problems between the clans? Give any group a name and they'll use it as a cause for argument with others. But. While there are always differences, we are all berserkers. Anyone who forgets that needs a swift reminder of their true allegiance. You have traitors here? Not traitors, troublemakers. People whose mouths move faster than their minds. 
You think we should use the law to silence anyone who thinks differently? I say they need to be convinced that our cause is best served if we work together. I've been saying that over and over, but it seems some people have stopped listening. Maybe they would listen to me. Perhaps. You could do me a favor and talk to Elder. He's been speaking out against the Isen clan, but I'm not sure of the reason behind his anger. You will find him living with the other cultivators down in the cultivator house. I'd be grateful if you can find out the reason he's upset before this bad feeling escalates into something else. That was well done. I'm glad you decided to join us. You are welcome in our ranks. Back up. What backup? Oh, for the love of her. There's no one gonna send me some relief. I need a piss, a sit down, and a different fucking view. How the flying set of syphilitic raptor bags is one man supposed to guard this area alone? What's got you so angry? Angry? Me? I've been ordered to stand here, balls swinging in the wind, with rot bores loose out there. With albs crawling around in the undergrowth ever since that raider crashed out to the west. Oh yeah, why would I be upset? Because I can't think what I've done to be left here, so I can have my manjules gnawed off by a pack of mutant canines. It's like they want this town to be overrun. You don't need to worry about those rot bores anymore. They're dead. Dead? Oh, great. That's perfect. Now when their friends turn up, they're gonna be really pissed. You know, rot bars will eat anything, and I mean anything. I need some damn backup. Alvar was supposed to be guarding the seedling field. But can you see him? No, because that lazy, duty-skipping strip of an ass rag has disappeared. You couldn't go and find him, could you? If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it with company. Eldor, I've heard you're causing trouble with the Eisen Clan. What about it? Do you have a problem with the Eisen Clan? It's not me with the problem. It's that self-important pinch-dick Orin who has the problem. He won't serve me, or anyone else from the Hammer Clan. You wanna do a ten-day stretch of guard duty and then find out you can't even get a beer at the end of it? Why won't Oren serve you? You'd have to commune with the Pilgrim to answer that one, because I don't know. One minute Oren will serve us, the next minute he won't even let us in the tavern. What's all this got to do with you? Cormag doesn't want conflict between the clans. Well, someone needs to speak to Oren then. It's that self-important sack of ass grapes that is the problem, not me. 
You get him to change his mind. And let the Hammer Clan back in the tavern. That will sort everything out. Go and play that tech somewhere else. Always when I'm sleeping. I'll find Alvar. I was hoping you'd say that. You could start by asking Drogue. He's probably on duty over at the town gate. If anyone knows where Alvar is, it's Drogue. Those two are best buddies. I found Alvar. Oh, great. And what excuse did he have for not turning up? A pretty good one. He's dead. Excuse me, what? I asked you to bring him here, not kill him. Well, I didn't. He managed it himself. He took a chem overdose. Asshole. Couldn't even take chems right. The outlaw that sold Alvar the chem is dead. Then may he rot slowly and be forgotten. And may my superiors finally realize that means I'm stuck out here alone. I'll have to risk it and go to Cormac myself. And hope I don't get exiled for abandoning my post while I do. Thanks for taking care of that. Good to know some fly-bitten wanderer I've never met before cares about me more than my own superiors. Take this Alexit. And the humble thanks of the mighty warrior they left in charge of a whole sector. Always when I'm sleeping. Did you see the Al Raider crash? Sure. I had a ringside seat here. Whoosh, blam, serves the bastard right. Flying around up there, raining shit on other people. Got some of his own shit back from someone, didn't he? And did you see who shot the raider down? No, something went foom on the thing and down it went. Whatever happened, happened quick. Goes to show relying on technology is pure madness. Nobody would get me in a one of those infernal machines at any rate. Machines are against nature. You see what comes of them when it crashes out of the sky. Was it a berserker that shot the raider down? No, no way. If someone from here had done that, they'd have had a parade, and they'd never have stopped talking about it. No. Which does make you wonder who it could have been. What are seedlings? What are they? They're world hearts. What are world hearts? Heart and soul of the berserkers they are. Magalan's very own mother's tit. Shove one of those in the soil and just watch the land around it grow. All this here was wasteland till the milk of mana came and changed it. You feed a seedling with mana and when it's mature, a world heart will clean out the elix and bring the ground to life. Elix poisons the ground? Elix poisons everything. But if we plant enough world hearts, we'll make the whole of Maglan green again. Unless those wretched albs bomb everything flat first.
Nobody fucking cares. Have we got enough guards on duty? It never feels Is like that we have enough. Look! Look! Some idiot let this guy become one of us. Lucky for us, too. We need warriors after the battle at the converter. Here, it's on the house. Welcome to the Berserkers. Tell me. The Hammer Clan sent me. Ah, that's a shame. Bar's just closed. Then open it. You're going to serve the Hammer Clan from now on. Am I? Strange. Here was me thinking I decided who gets served. And I don't have any reasons why I should change my mind. Maybe this Alexit will change your mind. Perhaps. I mean, you have made a persuasive argument there. You see, problems can be sorted out, like gentlemen. The Hammer Clan will be welcome. I'll speak to Angram and smooth this over. What does Angram have to do with it? He told me not to serve the Hammer Clan. I think he was hoping some of them would, you know, shift over to the Ison Clan. I think Cormac should know about that. I think that's got nothing to do with me. I'm just a tavern keeper. Is Excellent. That Talk, that's all he is. Getting drunk, that's what you're Uh huh. I know why Elder is angry. So he told you why he was making trouble? Orin has barred the Hammer Clan from the tavern. And the only thing that stouts men complaining faster than an empty stomach is an empty flagon. You seem to have a gift for getting people to talk. I want you to use that gift and find a way to persuade Orin to lift his ban. I will see what Angram knows about this. If the Isen Clan are allowed into that tavern, then the Hammer Clan must be too. The trouble between Elder and the Eisen Clan is over. So, Elder can drown his sorrows instead of shouting them around Goliath. How did you manage that? After a little chat, Orn agreed it was best for the clans to work together. A little chat, eh? Well, however you managed it, it's a relief. 
I was worried this would build into something bigger. Listen, Orn had better pull himself together, or I'll deal with him myself. Well, I should have had more faith. It seems people do believe in our cause. Angerm was behind the trouble. He hoped that since the Hammer Clan wasn't being served, that he could lure people to join the Eisen Clan. You're sure of this? Orin told me himself. Then it seems I must speak with Ragnar, and we'll find a way to persuade Angram out of such tactics. We have enough trouble with the Albs without fighting amongst ourselves. Thank you for your service. Take this for payment, and keep this matter between us. Stop messing around with that thing! Always when I'm sleeping. Orin has lifted the ban on the Hammer Clan. Well, aren't you the smooth skin charmer? How did you get him to lift that? Well, I'm very persuasive. I'll bet. But however you did it, I'm thankful. Here, take this a small token of thanks from the Hammer Clan. What is mana? Magic, isn't it? Magic. But you want to know how it works? You'll have to ask Caldrum or someone. I just see the results. There's magic out there, and you dig fields. You must feel pretty pathetic. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that.
Stormson has joined the clerics. Then all doubt is gone. He was a traitor. It is as well he was stopped. I hope you warned him what will happen when justice finds him. I'm not here to serve you. It is easy to have sympathy for traitors if you haven't watched their friend. This man let his...